My name is Crispin Reith. I, uh, I work with the Drupal Apprenticeship Scheme. We, uh, we recruit young people from disadvantaged backgrounds and underrepresented groups and train them, coach them through a year-long uh, work placement in a web development team. I am here to, uh, to promote the scheme, to connect with businesses who may be thinking about taking on an apprentice or, uh, or people that may know someone who would benefit from, uh, from joining the scheme. It was born from the, from the community, the, uh, uh, myself and uh, Peter and Robert from Code Positive and Headley, we were the people who, would, who were looking to, to hire apprentices rather than, rather than graduates and it was, you know, through, we connected through the Drupal community and, that, and got together and then developed and, you know, designed and developed the, the apprentice to, to our needs, to the industry needs. Then further on from that, the promotion of the scheme is all down to, uh, is, you know, by and large, is all down to events like Drupal Camp where we can connect with, with, with developers, with businesses, and talk about what the scheme can do, does do, and the benefits. Drupal Camp London has a really wide um, the area of influence and of, of capture. So you know, you, you're not just getting people from the London area. There's people from, you know, from further out than the home campus. I speak, spoke to people from Devon and, uh, and Manchester. So it's a good, uh, you know, as a as a UK wide, as an opportunity to talk to UK wide business. This is this is the one. In terms of case study personal successes, it's been great to see it. everyone really who's come through the scheme has been, has been a success. I think you know if looking at the success of the scheme as a as a as a thing, the the employment rates of people coming out qualified of the scheme is is crazy. You know, it's better than better than we could have hoped for. For uh, in particular particular people who've been a great success, um, I. I almost always talk about Mo, who had no GCSEs whatsoever. Um, he uh, no, absolutely no qualifications that alone GCSEs, but because we're not testing for those sorts of things, he then came through our program and has done really well. Past three years now, he's running uh, BHAT tests and he's head of QA at Co Positive and. Uh, and doing really well for himself. He's actually, I think, he's planning to go. Been accepted to do game design now at university which is a great success you know from, from no GCSEs at all.